two of this blues solo over shuffle in a um, guitar lesson. <laughs> last week we did part one and now we're gonna do the last part of the solo. Tablature can be found on my Patreon page and we're gonna get right into part two of this lesson. And this one is used a lot um, to go back from the second position of the pentatonic scale to the first position. You'll see Steve Ray doing it, uh, Jimmy Vaughn, all kinds of players use this lick a lot. <laughs> so I also tend to overdo this one. And here you end on the major third. And on to the next lick. All right, let's split this one up. First bit. So bending up this one again. And ending with a nice vibrato. This one contains maybe the first blues lick I ever learned, which was... You bend up the 7th fret of the G string. Uh, and you fret the 5th frets, which are index finger. again on that E which is the root of the five chord. Let's move on. This one is played in the third position of the pentatonic scale and goes like this. You'll see B.B. King playing a lot in this uh, position. John Mayer uses this a lot. Really nice tones to be found in this position. All right, let's move on. And 
here also mixing up major and minor. So this is something very much inspired by Jimmy Vaughan. Also continuously bending. And this may require some practice to get the continuous upward motion of the bend um, in perfect unison with the, uh, with the actual playing of the notes. And I still find it very hard sometimes to get them exactly right. It requires me to really concentrate uh, when playing these kinds of things which often doesn't work out as I intended to. <laughs> so, next one. So this is what I call a hard change between uh, two positions of a certain scale, because I move back from here to there. And notice how these bends aren't completely going to the uh, uh, to a full next note. So it's not they're half notes. to the five one of the last licks goes like this so it's slide slide and followed by a pull-off the ending you can play this and towards the ending you can play this and this chord is four five four Five, starting from the A string, but you slide it up one and then slide it back to where it's supposed to be. I'll do another video in the future on uh, blues rhythm uh, because you can do really cool things with just three chords. Um, and it all started with T Bone Walker doing stuff like. <laughs> So let's repeat the last lick one final time. So you play uh, the seventh fret on the B string, eighth fret on the E string, and then you bend up the uh, seventh fret a bit. is done very often in blues which is going from the minor third to the major third
thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments what you think about these lessons. I'd like to make them better so I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Tablature can be found on my Patreon page and as always thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.